It is WrestleMania weekend, and I am ready. Wait, this is my WWE Cup. All right, I don't talk about it. Anyway, what is going on? Good people. WrestleMania weekend. We're finally almost here. It is currently at the time of this recording. Um, Friday night going into uh into Saturday, which of course is night one of Mania. Night two is Sunday. It's it's crazy, it's craziness. Uh I and I don't remember who said, was it you? Justin, that I talked to, and we had this discussion about we'd rather have Mania be one night or two nights. Was that you that I had that discussion with or somebody else? That was me. Yeah, we were talking about that last night. Yeah. That's what I thought because I, I, I couldn't remember. But because, uh, and I think it was Justin that said, I think I, I was like, I'd rather have it one. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Justin said you'd rather have it two because you'd rather take the, if it's going to be an eight hour show, it's split into two nights. So, but anyway. And also get and also get more guys on the card that don't usually get to be you know gonna be featured on WrestleMania, like people like Cesaro, people like like, like, bad, like bad Bunny, Shane. Bad Bunny. Oh, don't even get Shane the card. McMahon. Oh Lord, yeah, yeah but, Shane but, oh my. But like me and uh, me and Adam were talking about the other day, not everyone is meant to be on WrestleMania. True. True. I'm making it eight hours and trying to shove it in there. I do have to have to ask a question. This is a serious question, by the way. Um, it's very serious. Yeah, uh, Casey, Casey, real quick, I, I want to talk to you. Uh, F O H is that is that things of honor like thingies thingies of honor? Is that what? No, it's I swear, oh god. Oh, I, I thought it was thing, thing, thingies of honor. I thought we had a new thing, but anyway. Yeah, I thought that was the thing also. Yeah, I mean that's why. Anyway, I oh, god. uh. Overall thoughts on on how we feel like Mania is going to be besides long because real real quick question right back at you today. Um, are you Nigerian? <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, uh, fuck Bad Bunny according to Sarah. Uh, <laughs> yes, bring that back. Up. But, yes. And by uh, and by the way, we uh we we wholeheartedly agree. I will not let you disparage. The, okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, it's okay. You can disparage the, the the good goddamn name of Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> but, thank uh, God! Thank God that's a tag match now. I yeah, I, I saw that and I was I was happy about that too because I didn't understand why they were ever gonna make that anything other than that. Uh, I was like, oh goodness. But anyway, um, should we give overall thoughts or are we gonna just? I mean, this I, I, there's so many matches on this card. I think it's better off if we just kind of just yeah, just just go right go right yeah, to just it. go right to it. Just, just go right to it. Oh, wrong wrong thing. I put Casey up there. Um, oh, anyway, well, I don't know what that match is. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, oh, oh, real quick, by the way, if you want to, yeah, right there. Uh, uh, so Casey, you got to move your mouth while I talk. So, uh, okay. <laughs> so you can watch us on Facebook. YouTube, you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Ankle, Snapple Podcasts, and all of the et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I think Casey's froze. Frozen, of course. So, so much for that uh, idea. It was By a good way, thought I, in, in I, hindsight. I, I, hey. that, I hey. save that, that screenshot. I would have you know. <laughs> you son of a. Casey, Casey you're, do, you're, do, you're doing excellent. You're, you're doing a fabulous job. Fabulous. Anyway, Fabulous. Um, Wait, to, uh, to night one, don't know the order of these matches, just going to throw them right at you and, you know, that they'll change the order completely by the time we get there. But let's start with Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair, which I'm excited about. Glad to see Bianca Belair getting a little this, this, push. This is closing night one. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Which is amazing. Yes. Um, so I guess we're going in the opposite order of what I thought the matches were going. Anyway, uh, I think this is the first. No, this was on Wikipedia. I went from bottom to top or top to bottom. I don't know. Anyway, irrelevant. 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 Um, Are you sure this is night two? I mean, you're going backwards. I, I thought it was probably about night three. You know, I thought it was night three. I thought um, it was night four. But uh, <sighs> but anyway. <sighs> don't don't give them any ideas. We don't need to give them any ideas to have night three and four mania because they will. I, I mean, um, I was gonna try to we'll have them. We'll have a match each night of the week. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna try to convince uh, Justin that there was a night three and see if he waited on Monday. <laughs> Why are we <laughs> coming out? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
I, I think this is going to be good. I, I definitely think Bianca is going to win. I'm glad. It was nice to see Sasha have a good run, though, uh, because about doggone time, she had a run that didn't last until the next Raw. I appreciate that. Um, or SmackDown for the, the, the case of her being the SmackDown Women's Champion. But, like, that was nice to see, finally. But I think Bianca's going to take it off her. And I'm interested to see what Bianca does as champion because I think they've almost turned Sasha, in a way, just in the middle of this feud, uh, which is kind of makes me want to see her keep the title because I'd rather see heel Sasha as champion anyway. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do in terms of this match because – I mean, I don't think you can go wrong either way. You just turned Sasha, so it makes sense to – you've just recently turned Sasha, at least. So it makes sense to to keep it on her and, and have that kind of – almost like a new title reign within the same title reign. Or you can go with Bianca and kind of give the young gun her her, her due, I feel like. But, uh, Casey, uh, thoughts on the uh, Sasha versus Bianca match? Well, that, that, that Bianca – that Bianca Blair is going to is gonna win – and then she's going to immediately lose it on Raw to Sasha Bonks. Sashay Bonks. Did, did you say Raw? Sashay. So it's going to be a role reversal. It's going to be a role reversal. And it's going to be. Sarah picks up Bianca. Bianca. That's right. Uh, Adam, 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 yeah, go ahead. I I can't. I don't know if Casey's. Fro- I don't know if Casey's frozen or he's just looking at us weird. Not not sure. Well, normally no. he looks at us weird anyway. So <laughs> my internet's been so weird lately. But no, I you said you said turn, so I thought she was turning to the raw side. I I, I didn't know you meant like a heel turn. Okay, turn oh, your heel. Let's turn your heel. My bad. my bad. I thought we could. Okay, my bad. My bad. You gotta be more clear on that, DJ. You gotta be more, more clear on that one there. But no, uh, she she's going to win, and then Sasha's going to immediately win it back, like the that night, like like on night <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know why that she gets the title shot again in one sitting, but. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. So, well, I I guess DJ, <laughs> is this my is this my cue, DJ? I'm I'm letting you guys take over the show because I'm gonna still try to wash these clothes without it being weird. Um, <laughs> well, you beat, you beat me to the punch because I was gonna say I guarantee you he is starting up that low to laundry. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is it? Can you still hear it? If I talk loud enough, if I scream, if I scream. Oh, sorry. Sorry for anybody just tuning in, wondering what the heck is going on. I don't know. Okay. Either. Well, welcome, welcome <laughs> to the panel of Justin, myself, Casey, and Joey Styles. Um, <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> but anyway, no, I, I can't. I can't see anything different than Bianca winning. I, I, I mean, granted, this has been the formula forever, especially when it comes to. Oh, Casey's twin is in here. Oh Lord. Okay, good. No, nobody wanted that. Yeah, no, nobody. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a double whammy, legit. But um, it, it's the same. It's the same formula, you know. Every year with with winner of the Rumble, nine times out of ten is going to win the the title at Mania. But that that's fine. But it, I always have. I've always stated that predictability is okay if done well. And in this instance, like I, I, I Bianca's is the obvious choice, but my thing is like like the way they're getting to this match was a little hokey. If we brought this up on a few episodes ago, of why did you make them a tag team and go for the title and all that stuff, and then then they have the the blow up amongst them right in between everything. And again, that's as me and Justin said, that is lazy booking. But mm-hmm. here, regardless. Getting the match in the ring. This is gonna be. This is gonna be fun. They're they're gonna kill it. They're, they're gonna they're gonna show why they deserve to close the show, and there will be no shenanigans of Bianca winning, and then Sasha's like, "No, I want a rematch," or, and then Vince comes on and says, "Oh goddamn, bring the bell." No, it'll be none of that. This will be. No, 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 Vince. He's gonna come down to the ring, and he's gonna hop in the ring. And he's gonna tear his quads. 
Uh, he'll be a uh, granted. He already had the the very very low odds or ridiculous odds of tearing not one but two quads in the same setting. The fact that you can do it again, both at the same time, I think would he be the first person in history to do so? <laughs> <laughs> that would, but that would be that would be funny. All sleepy, sleepy eye events. God, God damn! Oh, son of a bitch, Michael, get down here. <laughs> yeah, Bianca. Bianca goes over. All right, uh, Justin. This is going to be an amazing match. Like I tell you what, Fox is winning here. Like with all these, like basically all these matches for WrestleMania. Why does Ciara O'Malley look just like Casey? I'm a little confused. Uh, yeah, like we we're getting the different POV here. We got the side point of view. We got the. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, but this is like WrestleMania nine with Doink. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm gonna go with Bianca Belair to win. Um, I mean this this has probably been one of the best feuds. Like, and that's not saying very much for like with how this has been going stuff. Like they turned Sasha Banks like. Heel like mid uh mid feud like it was like fast lane that he turned to heel like I feel like she doesn't need to be a heel like there doesn't need to be like heels of you don't need to have a, a heel in the face like you can both have two he- faces in a match you know what I mean like this to change it up a little bit sometimes but, but we, I think it's but gonna... we've been we've been beaten over the head with that where it's it's the the participants doesn't matter who they are no like I want. I want somebody to cheer for. I want again mm-hmm. slap slap me in the face with it. And I said before, Sasha should never be a face. She should mm-hmm. always be a heel. But that's mm-hmm. just me. But no, this is gonna be a great match. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be ending uh night one, I'm pretty sure. Yes. I am. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Bianca Belair to become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Okay. All right, tag team turn one match. This match, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I kind of want you guys kind of guess the, what happens with the winners of this match. Winner gets a match at night two against. Oh, where have we heard this before? <laughs> NXT. Man, well, damn it! You took my joke. I was going to say, like, they're going to take over the next show. <laughs> yes, son. Um, bitches. For the record, this show, the podcast here, has already started, but. But, 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 I will tell you, WrestleMania starts tomorrow, Saturday, at 8 p.m. So. Saturday. Anyway. On, um, on, the, on the cock. On the peacock. This is why all four of our live viewers have went down to negative four. <laughs> why don't we invite him to the, the, the thing? We have, we-, we have four times of not the viewers. That's how good we are. <laughs> Um, the tag team turmoil match: Naomi and Lana, Dana and Mandy, Liv and Ruby, or the Riot Squad—I guess they're still called—and Tamina and Natalia. Yep. Okay. Um, in terms of who I'd like to see win this match, is this on the pre-show? I uh, I, I don't think so. They should put the put the put this on the pre-show so I don't have to watch. Are it. they even uh, having a pre-show? If they if you have a pre-show both nights, I'm going to gouge my eyes out. They're re- they're showing like uh, superstar walk-ins at twelve. I saw that on the website earlier. So I don't I don't know what they're doing. If Holy I had to go for a winner, Christ. if I had to go for a winner, I'm going with Natalia and Tamina because do something with them. About friggin' time, do anything ever. I don't care about the riot squad. Don't care. I for darn sure don't care about Mandy and Dana. And I for darn sure don't care about Lana. I do care about Naomi, but I for darn sure don't care about Lana. <laughs> there, I mean, good goodness, at least Tamina and Natalia. I don't care about them, but I'd like to see them as a tag team, I guess. Give me something. Anyway, anyway. Tamina. And this is, this is probably the first and only time you ever hear me say I want Tamina and Natalia to win a dang on match. But dang on, they're going to do it. They're going to win them dang on titles. Who's the champion then? Oh, Shayna and Nia. 
No, they ain't. No, ain't nobody beat Jay Knight. Hey, we should do that prediction while we're here talking about the, this match here. So we should do two and one. Yeah, because I don't have another graphic for that because they didn't give me one. So WWE, uh, I, 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 I sent you an email. I sent you an email corporately from the Instant Classic Wrestling Podcast, and you only sent me these graphics. Shame. Actually, actually, I found the graphic for that match. Well, pull up your screen and show it. <laughs> I'm, I'm too lazy. Oh wait, I'll grab it. I'll grab it here in a minute. <laughs> Someone else do their pick so I can pull it up. Casey didn't have that weird face on for about 10 minutes. What, what would you like, Casey? You want to say something? I know it. Come on. I, 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 why, why, do we, why do we keep him around? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, <laughs> probably, he probably hold us against, uh, against our will or something. He against doesn't do not a damn thing. He talks I got, I got the I'm too lazy to put it up, but I got the graphic. Asshole. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I hope here we go. Will never get out. Show your screen. Hold on. on. People listening to this is like, what the heck is going on out there? Well, well we went from negative four to negative ten. <laughs> there we go. You guys keep doing your prediction about this match. Oh, one we'll member get of the tag teams get injured and one team pulls out. At WrestleMania, Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey show up as a tag team. No. <laughs> no. 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 Get out of here. You're not allowed in here anymore. <laughs> um, I I just wish they had tag teams that were worth a darn. That'd be nice. Hey, like, uh, give me some, give me some tag teams that are worth any type of like like let because let's just be honest out of all of these tag teams you know what i'd rather you know what i have rather you know what what i would have rather seen you what? know what i would have rather seen okay this gets me fired up okay i can't even speak english at this point i'm speaking gibberish okay look you know what i would have rather saw I would have rather saw Naya and Shayna versus freaking Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Cause logic. But what would you have rather seen? I would have rather about it. I don't even know what I said. That's I, 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 I say, I say, I say, I'd rather, I say, I'd rather see attacking Warfordon. I'd like to know. Hey, Vincent, where's that graphic, Abri, by the way? Abri, He's got Abri, it. Abri. I, I, I wasn't uh we weren't on that match in particular. Oh, okay, okay. No, I, I see I see it down there. Let's pick I this match first. <laughs> so I'm gonna say Tamina and Natalia are gonna win cause yeah, cause hearts and snooker. <laughs> uh, Nightheart, by the way. Nightheart. Th- there there are literally four people that I give a narn about in this match. Two of them are in the same team, and the other two are in uh, opposing teams. So, um, yeah. <laughs> wow, they really just threw darts at a board to pick this match, I swear. Uh, are, ha- are half of these women even actually, like, normally in tag teams together? Like, wh- anyway. <laughs> We got we got a uh, women's tag team titles. Hey, uh, hey, uh, T- Tamina, right? Yeah, Tamina. Yeah, yeah. Come over, come here. Uh, Nata- Natalia, we ain't seen you in a minute. Come, 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 come. All right, we're gonna put y'all together because I'm. Like- <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they're not gonna win on the following night anyway, so I'm just gonna go with the Riot Squad because they're an actual tag team. <laughs> <laughs> they're an actual tag team that they put back together because they didn't have tag teams. <laughs> Because, because let's just be honest, the real great tag team out of the entire women's division was who? Oh, I kind of, come on, and you broke them up. What the heck is wrong with this freaking company? They're freaking killing me. I'm done with this. I, think- I mean, I mean, WWE logic, I tell you. They love to break up teams and love to put people together that don't are not actually tag teams, and they love to give them titles. It's just like... I mean, I mean DJ was super happy when the head broke up the Hurt Business. 
<laughs> no, no, it wasn't. That was the best freaking faction in the dang old company. And you want me to watch stupid retro <laughs> or freaking Baron Corbin? And I love Baron Corbin. Don't get me wrong. You want King me to watch Corbin. Baron King Corbin? King Corbin. Freaking Corbin and freaking Bobby. What? Speaking, of, speaking of. Wrong. Speaking of King Corbin, they need to drop that get that whole King Corbin gimmick with him. Like he's won he won that a few years ago. He did they just need to get rid of that. Like call him, call him Baron Corbin. Since we're on topics that are relevant to the show, in a way relevant to the show, let's just be honest about things. You can use it as an actual freaking gimmick because the king of the ring should be worth something. How about that? Well, mm-hmm. well, like Adam and I were saying, get rid of Money in the Bank and replace it with King of the Ring. <laughs> I have to say, DJ's little tirade was better than my <laughs> elated, joyful tirade after the Browns beat the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to watch this and put you for just freaking out Bobby Lashley and MVP? What? What is it? <laughs> Somebody, anybody, take a minute to and make a TikTok out of it. Thank you. I, I need I need to screen record this and be like, this is what I deal with. <laughs> this is what I deal with. By the way, turn if you have headphones, turn your volume now. <laughs> yeah, my ears my ears are bleeding right now. Oh, Adam, that's well, that's macaroni and beans. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, this, I, here, here, here's, here's a prediction. I don't fucking care. <laughs> this, this, this match is just there. I don't and give I, a fuck. I don't, I, I you don't want the give language. a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That I said. This is I a said. family show sometimes. Hey. <laughs> I don't give a. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> my hole. This We're being and Shayna oh Baszler, but but to pick to pick a team to be different, I will pick Naomi and <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Miro. I mean, this is a family show. All, all four of us got families. That counts, right? <laughs> so, so <laughs> I mean. Let, let's just be honest about, about things here with, with these tag teams. Logically, they as a suck. tag team, Naomi's ridiculously athletic. Dana Brooke can do that weird flippy thing when she comes out to, to her entrance show. She's got to be athletic. Why don't you just put them together <laughs> and then put the, the hot blondes, <laughs> hot broad blondes, Lana and Mandy together because they think they're hot and they just flip their hair and they're just <laughs> cute. They can be the freaking beautiful people of WWE. DJ's booking, ladies and gentlemen. DJ's booking. By the way, I hope oh, to God the match. I, I hope that the match is not as long as the segment. <laughs> you know, this is gonna be a piss it break won't match. Be. It won't be. This is gonna be a piss break match. Justin, thoughts on the uh, teams here that we have that will face the champs? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? So, on uh, my prediction, I, I was originally going. going. I was originally going with um, Natalia and Tamina, but that was thinking. You know what? I think they, you know, because Lana has a history with Nia Jax and you know Shane Baszler and stuff. So I was going, you know what? I feel like they're going to give it to Lana and Naomi for some reason, and I feel like and they're really pushing Lana. They really are pushing her hard. Yeah, they're pushing her hard. Yep, yep, yep. Which is I don't, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> I probably need one. I probably well, thing, pretty... You need a Snickers with extra nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So Shayna and Naya versus for me going to be Tamina and uh, Natalia. I feel like if they were smart. They would have took the titles off of Bailey and Sasha and made and had them beat anyway. Irrelevant, relevant, relevant, relevant. Um, Natalia and Tamina. 
I think they should win this match because I am tired of Nia and Shayna. Even though I like them as a tag team, I don't think they're terrible as a tag team. I actually like them. But I feel like they, they've been champions for so long, and Shayna should be women's champion since, like, yesterday. Uh, j- because who? Since yesterday? Yesterday, last week, mean two months ago. Wait, wait since she was in NXT, she should have just had the women's the, the main roster women's championship too. Uh anyway, that, that needs Since to happen. Sign the contract. You, also, you have don't they still have the uh Shafir and uh the other one they used to run around with Shayna? Um, oh uh um Jasmine Duke. Uh, ja- they, yeah, Jasmine they, Duke and yeah. Don't, don't they still have them too? I think they're I still think, down in the yeah, NXT, they but they don't. They, they have they, the they, 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 I have more sense of the dang on tag team than all, all of these people. I I don't know if they're still with because I, I haven't seen them in NXT uh, dating to last year when COVID started. So I don't know if they is were it, part of that massive let go. Is it Shavir with um, not Roddy? Roddy, yeah. Oh Roddy. yeah, that, that's what I thought. Yeah, whoever well, the darker I mean, hair one is. Well, yeah. Oh, I was th- I, I, I I was thinking about um. I was thinking about uh, who's the one that left? What was his name? Roddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting Roddy and Kyle mixed up. Yeah, Roddy. She probably quit Roderico? with Roddy when he worked out. Roderico. Roderico exactly. Strength. Um. Roderico Strength. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Natalia and Tamina because give them something to do, please. Anything, because they. I mean, they've been roaming around together for like. A year and a half, so I've been waiting on it. So just might as well give it to me, I guess. All right, as my washer is getting going again, let's go to Casey. Uh, they're not going to lose the titles. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a whole, a whole lot of Shayna. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, there's no, there's nobody worthy to take the titles off of them right now. I'm sorry, but Shayna is this tag team, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, mm-hmm. and 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 her whole. <laughs> That's right. why she uh, does this. This this doesn't mean the queen of spades. This means her whole. <laughs> uh, Justin. Uh, I'm gonna go with what well, I said. That they'll be facing Naomi and Lana. You know what? I'm gonna say new champions here because I'm tired of seeing Nia Jax or you know Shayna and my hole. I'm, t- I'm just tired of seeing that. You're tired of seeing your hole? <laughs> yeah. Stop I'm not, here. Like I'm not even tired of seeing it. I just wish. Whoa! 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 You you see it? That's weird. That's just really. Weird. I'm not tired of seeing the tag team. I just wish they would do something with the freaking stupid tag team division. Like anything besides put a champion and a challenger together and say, you know what? Go after the tag titles. Just do it. So you are tired of seeing her whole. You you finished your life. I usually don't look. I usually like uh, just don't pay any attention. You're just kind of there. But anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> Moving forward, as we uh, continue to there embrace the there vision and uh, w- embrace the vision with Cesaro, um, Seth and Cesaro, I'm gonna go to uh, Justin first because I feel like I'm picking out all these matches first. So yeah, and stuff. This could oh. possibly Side um go ahead. Here he go with his side. No, I'm gonna do a sidebar. Get your internet in line. Yeah. <laughs> at least you got to at least get, ask get your bars ask up. At least ask McDonald's. Can you plug into it? Come on. <laughs> I don't live that close to McDonald's to plug it in. Boom. Plug it in. Plug it in. Shut. Shut. Shut up. Shut your face. Shut the talk. Face. I looked up the Jessamine Duke. And the, the Marina Shafir, or whatever the fuck her name is. Sh- 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 Schaefer or something. I don't know. Shafir. They're, they're, they're both. 
They are both with the double doubles. Apparently, he's with Duke is uh, <laughs> underground and WWE creative team. <laughs> How was she, how was she a part of the WWE creative team? What the fuck? I don't I've know, never seen that on. I, I, is your is your place of occupant right now? Is it underwater? Is that not, your, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I hate y'all. Hate, hate all of you. <laughs> All of you okay, are uh, <laughs> just it's on you, bro. Okay, so Cesaro and Sheamus. I mean Sheamus. Fuck. Fuck. Cesaro, Cesaro, Cesaro and Sheamus. Seth Rollins has oh. turned Irish. You broke him. Let him go. This has been the ICWP Comedy Hour. Well, coming back with you with those nice, those nice sounds, of Maroon Five. I have completely <laughs> broken Justin. He'll be back in a few minutes, folks. Okay, I, um, Adam, I guess wait. it's on you. Yes, no, and, and this this is an easy one for me because finally, there. This is going to be the stepping stone for them to do something with Cesaro. Cesaro. Giant swing, neutralizer, pin Seth, one, two, three. Mark it down. Mark it down. Please do something with this man. <laughs> okay. Cesaro and Seth she- Rollins. Sheamus is not on the card. <laughs> he actually is. He's on night two <laughs> against Riddle. He's not on the night one card. No, but okay. So Cesaro and Seth Rollins. I mean, they both have S's in their name. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I just, yeah, I don't know why I was thinking of shame to say that was weird. So, Cesaro and Seth Rollins, this is going to be a show stealing of a match here. Like, this is probably one of the matches I'm looking forward to on night one. Uh, it's, Cesaro's going to win here. I mean, they need to, you know, push Cesaro straight to the moon. Like, they need to give him, uh, like you said, Good. give. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, there's only one man you can go straight to the moon. That's Cameron Grimes, baby. Cameron's baby. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. But no, this is going to be an awesome match, which I'm kind of confused what they're trying to do with Seth Rollins because they're trying to have him do the embrace division thing. But then they're also, you know, because a few weeks ago, they had him come out to like his whole burn it down, you know, entrance or theme music. And then they had the next week, the following week, they had him come out to like the um embrace the vision like that different theme. So like what are they trying to do here with him? Like I'm I'm just so confused like with this character they're, right now. They're trying to make him like mankind. He had a different theme going to the ring and then when he won a match he had a different one. <laughs> so he has he has two different characters. <clears throat> let, let it be Tyler Black. Just saying. Please. Just saying. Bring back the Phoenix Splash. Yes, um, I love when he uses Phoenix Splash. Oh, uh, it's not not a Phoenix Splash, but I, I, I love how uh, Adam and I were talking about moves that don't make sense, and he was talking about the Spanish Fly, and there was Spanish a Spanish Fly. fly. <laughs> there was a Spanish Fly in the ladder match, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I get, like, yeah, it's a cool move, but I, I just it. It bothers me because you, when you really look at it, you really don't get who actually took the the brunt of the of the of the move <laughs> until the person stands up. I know logic. Damn me! What is what is this logic? Logique? What is this? Um, logic? Logic? So wait, Justin, what was that about Cesaro and uh, and and Seamus? Start, starting with an F, because I don't. He, want, he, want, he wants the bar back together. <laughs> that's not that one. <laughs> Seth Rollins and you know they both have S's in their name, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want the bar back. That's exactly what I want. Side note: They had the Andre the Giant oh, Battle Royal on SmackDown tonight. Oh Lord! Well, Who me won? And you came, <clears throat> me, 
Sorry. Yeah, who won? Me and Keith were talking about that yesterday. yesterday. A lot, a lot of people were, <laughs> a lot of people were upset that they, they, they're not having that on Mania this year. And my thing is like, what have they? Whoever's won the Battle Royal, what have they done with them? I mean, Mojo Raleigh won. We saw how well that turned out. But he did stay hyped, though. So. But well, well, staying hype got him fired. <laughs> oh, he's fired. I didn't know he was going. I, hey, I, I, guess, I guess, and I guess Matt Riddle, he could stay high, and you know they're, they're fine. Jay with that. Uso won. <laughs> Oops. Well, I mean, if if it's supposed to be like who had the best year in terms of not the main event guys, Jay makes more sense than some of the other ones. I tell you, this is true. I mean, oh, and and goodness. Adam the Usos. Uh, if anyone's confused, uh, Jay's the one that's on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just, I just want to clear that up again because uh, I know for for a while everyone was confused which one was which. Jay's the one on TV. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it seems like they might be twins or something. But uh, <sighs> this match it's here, weird. I thought that for a while too. I, I thought that about the Bellas too, and I don't, I don't, I don't I'm yeah. not convinced. Yeah. yeah um. I think this low key could be uh, one of the matches of the night too. Uh, I'm excited that they did something with these guys without putting them in kind of in the title picture or anything, kind of giving them their own little little thing. I, I don't know why they decided to take the the pit stop at fast lane or whatever with uh, Rollins and um, Shinsuke, but and they, they, I mean they could have been building this thing since what was it Chamber when when they could have had Cesaro win the cha- Ch- and then have and. Uh, you know, be upset that he didn't embrace the vision or whatever and ruin his championship deal. And then, oh, but anyway, um, that's irrelevant. Uh, um, I'm, in terms of a winner, I'm gonna go with uh, Cesaro. I'm gonna go with Cesaro. I think Cesaro is red hot. So. Clean sweep. I think we all pick Cesaro. Uh, Cesaro, little rule. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 God. I didn't well, that's because you. Well, that, that's because you stopped to make some sort of joke, and I thought you were done. This I thought you were done, and then you and then you just stopped. You just like you didn't, you weren't like, oh no, wait, I haven't picked yet. Nope, you just let me go and pick the match. You just I let me you, go. I thought for once you would be a good host. One time, I thought one time you would be a good host, <laughs> and you you dropped the ball. As hey, you hey, hey, I bought the cookies. I bought the cookies and the drinks. I bought the cookies and the drinks. All you got to do is oh, get them out the no drinks or cookies. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was told there would be cake. Oh, oh, not that kind of host? Oh, my bad. I even got my apron on. Oh, my hey, bad. Adam, hey. I told you not, Adam, I told you not to say that right now. The cake is coming later. Okay. Anyway, okay. 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 hold up. Which kind of cake? Like, which kind of cake? Are we talking it's, about the, the, it's red the, velvet. The, the blue cake? cake. Tell the pound town cake, that kind of cake. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm, because I don't trust WWE and they never push people we want them to push, I'm going with Rollins. <laughs> so you, you're embracing you're embracing the vision. Hey, um, <laughs> I'm embracing hey. the WWE. Hey, Casey, I, I, I do have to apologize because I was really excited about this here match that we got in front of us right here with Braun and Shane because this right here, I tell tell you, it's going to be a barn. Okay, the only thing saving this match is that it's a steel cage match. That's the only thing saving this uh, whole thing. But I feel like it should have been a green slime Put, put your grades up for display uh, cage match of death match. I thought personally, just me. This should have been on this match should be on Nickelodeon and like me. one of those and like a slime match. Like, exploding, you know that? exploding slime barbed wire match. <laughs> and yes. yeah, yeah, on Nickelodeon. And also, there's um, you know, that slip and slide thing. Yeah, they have to go through a slip and slide into all slime. Yeah, let's That'd be honest. Be- only reason anyone's gonna watch this match is to see how Shane kills himself. <laughs> this match is, personally is a waste, waste of airtime. Just send Shane, let him jump off something absolutely outrageous, have a holy shit moment, and end scene. That's pretty much how it's going to go. 
That's pretty much how it's going to go. I think Shane is literally going to flirt with trying to kill himself. <sighs> um, this match Branch, is- br- brain, branch is the same thing. Brain? Ricky and the brain. Brain <laughs> Strowman. <laughs> Bra- <laughs> you don't have the. I, apparently, well, he doesn't have any brain. Apparently, well, he doesn't have any up. brains. Yeah, but here's, um, the, thing. here's the thing, though. Bald Strowman is has com, you know complained to Shane that he goes, "I had bullies like you growing up." Let's be honest. How many like big time millionaires live in South Carolina? <laughs> and not, and not to mention, you're saying that a man that's fifty years old is a bully. Well, also this this I mean, this, this feud is meaningless. I can understand Braun being uh like I, I can understand it if Braun was Drake Maverick and he's been small his entire life. I can almost yeah. guarantee you he, he probably would maybe not as big, but he's probably been a pretty tall fella his whole life. I, I feel like this I feel like this this feud should have been for like Lars Sullivan or something. <laughs> I don't know why. I well, I think I think Eric Rowan should have came back and been like I don't like bullies. I, I mean that would have made. The <laughs> no, I was gonna bring say that back Aaron, brought... Bring back Eric Rowan. Loser of the match has to shave his beard. Oh God, beard versus beard, man. Not the beardy. Not the beardy. <sighs> I don't care enough about this match to even pick it. Anybody with me? No, Move Braun, on. Braun, Braun's, yeah, Braun's going to win. Shane's going to do, like Sarah said, Shane's going to do some ridiculous mm. spot. Power slam, boom, one, two, three. It'll be an, it, it also will be an illogical spot of nope. how they get yeah. out of the, out of the cell. Let, let's just be honest. Let's just, let's just be honest. Shane's going to win. Like we all know this. Shane's going to win because we all remember when Shane was the best in, in the, the world. world. And he somehow won that, so I'm gonna go with Shane. As a oh, I, got, I, got, I got, I got, something to say. I got, I got. Can he get here. like suplex through glass again, like three times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, what's gonna happen in this match is Shane's gonna do. He's probably gonna jump off the cage or something, or maybe even jump off the pirate ship because uh, with the stage that they're having, they're having like a big pirate ship. Maybe they could do that. And I feel like one of the cage, the cage, the side of the cages is gonna get busted down. Like Braun Strowman's gonna plow through it. And is that the is that the busted challenge? What's that? That is that is the busted challenge. Is that, that the busted is. challenge? No. But you know what? One good thing, one you know thing about WrestleMania this year is like we don't have a lot of part timers on this show this year. You know we don't have Lesnar on here. I mean Shane's on here. He's the man I don't with three know H's. We don't got the game. <laughs> I, lo- I love how people are like, Cena's not on this show. Triple H is not on this show. Shane's Take on care. this show. Bad Bunny's on this show. Shut up. You know, okay, so if I they... Mean, oh, I'm sidebar here. If they would have... Um, you can't sidebar. Only we can sidebar. Sidebar. <laughs> sidebar. <laughs> um, if they were doing the cinematic matches a few years ago, you know, like maybe like... Yeah, doing these cinematic matches a few years ago, and with the Undertaker, you think he would still be wrestling now, like be at the Mania, or no? Who knows? I I, I have no idea. To kind of you know, help. Just saying. Uh, 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 they should they should have retired him after Mania thirty three. To be honest, after he after he you know t- took off his trench coat, you know, took off his hat in the ring. At Mania 33. He has nothing else to do at Mania. Mm. Like he doesn't have anything else to do in WWE that he hasn't already done. So, mm-hmm. you want your mouth, Mister? Well, you you need to admit that the greatest <laughs> WrestleMania match of all time was Triple H versus <laughs> Austin <ultimate> Warrior. Warrior. <laughs> um. The Raw Tag Team Title Match, The New Day, who are the champions again? Uh, LOL, Casey. Uh, going up against AJ Styles and Omos. AJ Styles and Omos are winning this match because they've been acting like AJ and Styles. AJ, AJ and Styles. AJ Styles and Omos will win this match. And AJ I think they want to do AJ and Styles. AJ and Styles. I mean, I mean, let's just be honest. Omos got some style. Look at that suit. Look at that chain, bro. Look at that suit. Look at that chain. I'm telling you, that beard. This man got style. What do you mean? Anyway, um, 
Look at so that drip. AJ, look at that drip, drip. I'm giving it to AJ and Styles. <laughs> I mean, and Omos. <laughs> I knew you were going to go that route. Look, I knew you were going that route. His, his name from now on is Styles. I don't care. It's AJ Styles. and Styles. AJ and Styles. Yes, sir. Because he's Omos the only is going to showcase one something. in that picture. He's going to showcase something he's never showcased before, according to Byron Saxon or something. Uh, so I listen to Byron. I listened to him ever since that one uh, fateful night on Legends Night when he responded back to Austin. It was the greatest thing I've ever heard. And he got kicked in the nuts for it. I'm going with AJ and Styles. <laughs> oh, my. See, the more, the more I look at it, it's like, oh, he's <laughs> looking, he's on the monitor again. Hey, can I speak words or something? Can I finish my sentence, you son of a <laughs> No, I, I was not even Your connection is interrupting you. Justin did. Oh, yeah, your, oh, connect, your connection is interrupting you. Oh, my. <laughs> Sidebar, He's a your witch, internet uh, sucks. He's a witch. <laughs> Sounds it's like not, he's melting. <laughs> All right. All right, Casey. You finally got a second of good connection, and you're not going to talk. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. I'm, I'm very confused on whether he's just. <laughs> I think he might be frozen. Adam, go ahead. I don't know what to like say. I was going to say, now it looks like he's pondering. So I think he's no, he back. frozen. <laughs> Dak is back. <laughs> I swear, oh God. That's why I, I put that. I swear, oh God. That's why I put that. I'm telling you, those fing those that fingies of those fingies of honor, they keep hitting that connection button. I swear to God, is it better now? It's better. Yes. What did, you didn't even move. How'd you fix it? <laughs> I switched uh we have two different uh Wi Fi connections. So, ah. so I switched to the other one. Ah anyway, I was saying Omos or Omos, whatever the fuck his name is. He just uh, almost he, he looks like the stylish, angry one, and AJ looks like the angry soccer mom. <laughs> Are you I mean, going with the angry soccer mom and the stylish, angry He looks like he just asked to see the manager, and now he's waiting impatiently. <laughs> Kofi looks like that meme. Uh, what is it? Uh, what? Well, uh, when when the, <laughs> when the white lady put the little the little <laughs> <separate. laughs> and, and and Woods uh, Woods looks like he just found it. He's going to see Paige again. Uh, wait. Anyway, what? <laughs> I'm going with the new day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> he really does look great. Oh, anyway, yeah, he's like the intimidating Karen or Chad in this instance. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with AJ and Styles as well. Um and again it's 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 that now. It's a forever <laughs> Like they literally could call themselves the Styles Clash. I'm just I'm <laughs> saying. But um, and, and and this is this is the unfortunate, sad state of affairs with the New Day. They're as great as they are, as entertaining as they are, every time they win the titles, now they're literally just placeholders for the next guys in line to who they think and be like, all right, let's let's give them a shot. I mean, like with the the first handful of times they won the titles, it meant something. Now it's it's getting silly, but you know, I I still I like I won't be. I'll put it this way: I won't be mad if, if 
if New Day wins. But the way that they've really been pushing uh, Amos to put him, just sprinkle in him in some spots and just show what he can do. Now that he's actually going to have a, a live match, I think, you know, especially if they're teasing us with like, they're going to, he's going to do something we've never seen before or, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, go, go with the hot hands. You know, saying go, go with, go with AJ, and plus, I don't think AJ has ever been tag champ either. No, <coughs> he's he's and, been and new- WWE champion. He's been United States champion. He's also been the face that runs the place. So he still yeah. is the face that runs the place. Get the it champ, right, yeah, the, the champ that runs the camp. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, the, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with this AJ is the house that AJ Styles built. AJ Styles built my house. The Karen that runs the. I don't know. That was... <laughs> the Karen that do be no sharing. <laughs> the Karen Just... that's looking for the manager. <laughs> um, you know, after what happened on Raw this week with, you know, AJ Styles losing to it, it was, I think it was Kofi. Yeah, he lost to Kofi on Raw. So, you know, usually the team who, lo- usually the, you know, person who loses is the people are going to win here. So AJ, AJ, (laughs) but no, AJ and Styles are winning this match. Yes, it's happening. It's gonna happen here. Sidebar. (laughs) Okay. That's match tonight, right here. So we got the Miz and John Morrison, who's finally back in the ring. Uh, going up against Damian Priest and Bad Bunny. <laughs> and it's funny because, uh, who was it? I think it was Casey that put it in the chat. <laughs> he, he was like, uh, WWE, uh, uh, Alistair Black, we got nothing for you. Um, Andrade, we got nothing for you. Books Bad Bunny for Mania. <laughs> Book Shane Man for Mania. Yep. Um, I'm glad they made this tag team match. We talked about it earlier. Thank, thank goodness. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what their obsession is with with Bad Bunny uh, and having him in the ring. I would have rather them had him have him perform again. I, I I mean I would not complain if he performed again for if we could not have this happen. You you got a literal former world champion that was literally world champion a month ago uh, going going against Bad Bunny, going against Bad Bunny. Why not have Bad Bunny say you know what? I'll, I got Damien Priest, big big Dame. Well, that can't be his name, can it? Uh, anyway, I got Damien Priest beside me. Okay, I'm gonna let him represent me in this Mania match. But that would make sense. That would make sense. Maybe we they just kill him. <sighs> Damien Priest and Bad Bunny win this match because, and and Bad Bunny's gonna get the pin. I hope watch, it's on John. I hope it's on John. Watch and, Bad Bunny. And the Miz is going to make him look like a thousand bucks. Not a million bucks, a thousand bucks. You can't make him look like a million bucks. You can't. I'm sorry. What is with his hair? What is he doing? I got got buggy ears. No, but there's a there's a there's one in the front too. What the hell is that? I can't. I didn't didn't notice that. (laughs) Please tell me that Bad Bunny's finisher is like like a carrot drop or like a bunny hop. He's got a top rope finisher named the Bunny Hop and a, a power driver named the Air Drop. <laughs> he also made got my, a, uh, he's also got a. I got lost in Albuquerque. He's he, he he's gonna do a Canadian destroyer, but call it the Carrot Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Justin, what's your thoughts on Bad Bad Bunny? No. He's a bad man. That's what is that what that's where where he got the Aaron Rodgers from. Bad bunny. Knew it. I freaking knew it. Watch them after Mania. Watch them have Bad Bunny as like a as a full time member of the roster now. Oh man, that would suck. You know, you know when you know, you're they wouldn't even let Pat McAfee, who can actually cut a doggone promo, be you know, you bro. know, when you're um, you know, when you're actually on the roster, is when he's saying bitch to everybody, like he he calls everybody a bitch. 
she could be called the Miz a bitch. <laughs> so you know, you know he's, he's a you're professional. a professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um man, I'm not looking forward to this match. Like, I definitely agree with DJ. Like, the Miz deserves so much better than this. I mean, I don't I'm know. happy. I don't I'm know. Ha- maybe a main event at main. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm happy this isn't a. I'm happy this isn't just a one-on-one match. I mean, but this is. I'd rather have Michael Cole versus Jared and King Lawler back. From no, no. Ten years ago. No, not no. that. You rather no. have this? You know, here, here's why. Here's why. It's a kiss, my foot. Jerry, match. Michael. No. Wait a minute. Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole went 13 minutes. Hmm. At least and I bet you it got you at least have... one this is awesome chance. No. <laughs> this at least has three workers. Again, that's why again, this is it's just it's just an attraction match. You know, like I think this will really put a shine on Damian Priest but because, you know, they'll sprinkle in Bad Bunny. But yes, I do think that Priest and Bunny will win, and Bunny will get Yeah, I agree. Uh, and he's probably going to do, like, a big move off the top rope and call it the Bunny Splash. <laughs> oh, my God. He dropped him like a Cadbury egg. There goes old Peter Cottontail. I know. He's going to go... <laughs> He's gonna go to the top rope and uh, who who calls this match? Is it Michael? Probably. It Michael? He's I gonna be he like, calls everything on pay per views. He's gonna be like Michael, get in here. He's gonna he's gonna look down on his opponent and get ready for the splash. And he's gonna be like, "What's up, Doc? It's gonna happen. It's gonna <laughs> happen. You know it. You freaking and, know it." And then looking to the camera on the pen, ain't I a stinker? <laughs> uh, has everybody picked this match for who cared about picking this match? I don't like remember. We, I don't, I don't think we, anybody really cares. I don't care. All right. Yeah, but, uh, I, I just realized something real quick. I just realized some night one is really not that good. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last last year's WrestleMania night one was so much be- you know, better than well, I thought last year's night one was a lot better. Than night two from last year. Well, last last year last year's mania was, I think, better than people expected because we, yeah. we didn't know how, how it was going to go. But like now, you know, you had you had the one off, and now they're doing it again, and it's just. At least we'll have uh, some fans. That'll be nice to see. This, Maybe yeah, it'll this make it true. worth this is true. going. Um, Lashley versus McIntyre. Lashley wins because let, let me see this thing. Where is my freaking thing? Where is it at? Right here. Right here, zoom in on this face. Look, if Lashley does not win this, I hate you. If Lashley does not win this <laughs> flipping, flopping, flooping match, I'm gonna be upset because he already broke up the stupid hurt business. This is his freaking time. This is his freaking time to get over without the freaking hurt business. Let's go. Hey, you already did something stupid. Don't do nothing stupid again. Drew's had the title for far too long. It's Lashley's time. It's the almighty's time. It's the destroyer's time. Let's go. Lashley's going to win this match for definite, for sure. It's going to happen. Woo! Are you doing Jeff hands? Casey, thoughts on the match? Um, I, I don't, I don't care. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't. Just I really don't. You know, this is, I think this is going to be a pretty good match. You know, I'm happy what they're doing with Bobby Lashley. You know, this is his first time holding like a major title in WWE, you know, other than the ECW championship. I mean, but that was, a, that was a joke when he held that title back in like 06. Cause that ECW the title. Pres- did, the prestigious. <laughs> Just in continue. But no, the, like when he held that ECW title, that like basically meant nothing because uh, WWE ECW was terrible. I mean, oh five, it, it wasn't that bad, you know, when they brought that one night stand. But when they actually brought it back full time, I like, nah, now Ventus is gonna bury this. You are not gonna discredit the name of the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But I think the reason why they broke up the Hurt Business because the Hurt Business, they were getting cheered and stuff, okay? You know, they, they were getting some cheers and stuff. And yeah, yeah, they were getting some cheers and stuff. God so forbid goes, like, they make baby faces. We got to break, we got to break him up. We got to make Bobby Lashley look like a heel again. We got to get Drew to get, get we got to get Drew to get, we got to get, um, Drew, Drew to get cheered because I feel like Drew, he's kind of dropping off a little bit. Like he's, I feel like he's overhyped a little bit in my opinion. And I feel like they're, that they're going to give it back to Drew here. The reason why is because he didn't get to have that, you know, I mean, yes, he did win at WrestleMania last year, but it wasn't in front, in front of a crowd. Didn't have fans there. This is about Bad Buddies match. Hey, that was a five star match, Mr. Sacco and the Bedpan. That was a five star match. <laughs> um, but I, I just feel like they're going to give it back to um, Drew McIntyre here. So I mean, it's it's going to be a good match, but I hope it doesn't hold it forever. Um, but I mean, it is better than having Brock Lesnar as a champion. I guess that's a positive, but yeah. Uh, Casey, you were saying something before you were rudely interrupted by your own internet. I don't remember what I was saying, and y'all are assholes. That's what I was saying. Y'all are assholes. Yeah, we were talking about ECW. Uh, oh, yeah. I was saying. The prestigious ECW WWE title? How dare you, good sir? <laughs> So prestigious, Vince McMahon held it. What they do? Matthew right. Hardy held that title, while his brother what, had the actual WWE title. That was probably that probably pissed him off. <laughs> I'll show you. That's that's, that's uh, why it cost him at the Rumble in the nine. Adam. See, I'm I'm torn between this one because. I, I love Drew. Oh, you actually same, care about the match. Thanks for coming yeah, by. I do. Well, like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I actually like these two, unlike you hooligans that are just disrespecting this match. And I mean full-on disrespect. Put some respect on these names. The utmost disrespect. <laughs> hey. So, my thoughts on this match is, I think, no, seriously. <laughs> that, was not, that was not a sidebar. That was a ha-ha. But, uh, is, this, is this Battle of the Billionaires? What? Battle of the Billionaires. Is this what this is again here? You, you, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I'm... I, I'm sorry, I, I don't... I, I wouldn't mind necessarily if they give it back to Drew, but, like, Bobby has busted his ass to get to actually a point where they're actually using him in a proper manner. And yet I, I still do not know why they had this with the hurt business. Now they're just called the owl business. But it, it, I will say that if, if Bobby is to win, I don't think he's going to make Drew tap because I, I don't. That's and it's not burying him, but I think you still want to keep him strong. I, I almost want him to either hit hit the dominator or that, you know, that big powerful suplex that he does. You know, so, something impactful that, that'll put an ex exclamation point on it. Because uh, I, I, I don't mind him using the, the, the full Nelson as a finish, but it only, it only goes so far. I mean, and, and, and plus, I mean, that'll be, that'll be the story is he's going to continuously try to lock that, that hold it and Drew's going to break out of it because he's, He's a couple inches taller than Bobby, and you know there th th it'll be <clears throat> it'll be power moves, you know, blow for blow. But I have a distinct feeling too that Cedric and Shelton is going to get involved somehow. You know, I feel like they can actually help. Like they go like, I swear, you guys, we're actually helping Bobby win here. I could actually see that, you know, kind of yeah. reforming them. Kind of a classic match, like a classic WWE. Main event, uh, mania main event. It seems like uh, with these yeah. two, like yeah, like early late eighties, early nineties type of. And, and, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't mind seeing two hosses beating the shit out of each other, which I is what I think that this is this is going to be. But um, I will I will say that Bobby will retain. <sighs> Hmm. 
I said, like, you know, I, there's there's a gazillion different scenarios I have in my head and how this could go about it, but I don't want to, I don't want to make it over you know, convoluted or, or anything though. But uh, I will just say, Lashley, you know, hits hits a couple of spears, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on. Let's go to night two. That's <laughs> I'm I'm excited about this one too. I think the build up has been good. I, I have been watching more of the build up for this whole thing. I I like them bringing Rhea Ripley in from NXT and kind of throwing her immediately kind of into the fire a little bit uh and having her go right after Asuka. I think that's good and it it kind of shows like uh you know what kind of competitor she is cuz you know Asuka kind of acts like everybody's scared of her so and and Rhea comes right up in her face and does her own thing, which I think is good. But uh, bye, Adam. Uh, I, I'm I'm excited about, about this one. I think I think this is definitely going to be going to be a good one. Uh, I'm going with uh, with I'm going with Rhea because Oscar's had the title for a good little bit. Um, I have heard if Oscar does win, I think Becky Lynch does something uh, at the end of this match because I hear rumors that she's coming back at some point, and I think this would be a good point for her to come back. Um, you said Becky Lynch. Um. I've been hearing, but uh, Casey, uh, I, I feel like Rhea has to win with the buildup that they've had with her. Like, it, it doesn't, so. yeah. Oh, hey, Adam, welcome back. We were talking all the shit about you. It was, it was great. Oh, I, oh, I know you were, I know you were. Some bitch. <laughs> 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 So I think it'll be good. It, it kind of reminds me of like when Paige came in and she won the title coming off of NXT. Not, <laughs> I, 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 a little bit more of a build up for the main roster fans to see uh, at not not you know to see who Rhea is before she wins the title. Um, I, I think this was a good a good way to do it instead of just randomly throwing somebody in and hoping we cared about them. You know, at least it was it was Rhea. You've seen her in the Rumble a couple of times. You've seen her at Mania last year. Like you, you know, the fans are familiar with her, so I think it would make sense. Uh, for her to win this one, but uh, let's go to Adam. Yeah, I mean, Rhea all the way. Yeah, it's like this. This will be the the game, this uh, the stepping stone to you know get her get the eyeballs to you know how how she how she is in the ring and her character. So she t- to me, she is a star. She should be pushed as much as whether it be Becky. Uh, Charlotte, whatever, like, like to me, she she is the next big thing. And I'm not talking about Brock Lesnar like that, but I think she's going to be the face of the women's division for for a long time. Would you say the face that, that runs, runs the place? Uh, that's looking for the manager. This is my, this is my brutality. She's going to have a right. whatever that group is or whatever the gal is, they're going to have her play her theme song to the ring, much like Motorhead. Yeah. Um, Justin? Uh, you know, it's it's time to take the title off of Fosco here. Like, but, you know, I, I, I heard like what they could do, like have some different scenarios. They can have Oscar retain in like the following year. At I think they're going to be in Texas next year. Yeah, Dallas next year. They could actually, you know, kind of have like a thing to have Rhea Ripley finally, you know, finally win at Mania because last year, you know, she lost to Charlotte. And you know, if Charlotte was, if she didn't go down with COVID, I feel like Charlotte would be in this position right now. She was supposed to be. Yeah, so I'm kind of happy you don't know, kind COVID took her out a little bit, but even though you know, oh jeez, I don't. Geez. Think, I don't I mean, I, I, I'm what? not happy. Like I just what? didn't want to see her in the ring. It wasn't even COVID. The report was that she was pregnant when she wasn't, and they took her out of the card. Wait, what? Oh, isn't that just a Justin thing to say? Wow, wait a ruin the wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? This is the heel of the podcast, boo. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wow! Wait, what? <laughs> wait, she's pre- they said she's pregnant. 
they was, claimed was, that she was pregnant too, and and it was false, and that's why they, on top of her having COVID, but she'd been off of COVID now for like a week or two. Yeah, but they took her off the card, and her, you know she's she's pissed, uh-huh. like you know as as she this should. make this is making a triple threat. We don't need any more of that nonsense. <laughs> and then Brian it. into it. <laughs> and put Daniel um, Bryan in the match. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> no, get um no, I'm saying that Rhea Ripley wins here. Yeah. Is anyone not saying Rhea Ripley wins? <laughs> um I no. think Bad Bunny wins this. <laughs> All right. Speaking of bad, oh, uh, the Fiend going up against Randy Keithington Ortington. Um, this match is isn't it a Firefly Fun House burnt house Fiend burned uh, barbecue and foot massage match or something? Like what is this? I think this well, is a normal well, match, but well, according to Alexa Bliss, Orton's gonna die, so that'll be fun. Deathmatch, just exploding barbed wire deathmatch. It's, go, it's gonna be a cha- it's gonna be a chairs match. Somehow the Muppets are gonna get involved. <laughs> it's gonna be the stairs. No, I said chair. Oh. Chairs. <laughs> it's not any other time. They had the stairs match. <laughs> I didn't see that through, man. Tables, ladders, and chairs, and stairs. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, you know what? Tables, lights, and chairs is just not enough. We need to have stairs. We need to have stairs. They're around the wing anyway. Let's just throw them in a bunch. <laughs> so I heard, uh, and this is just a rumor that most likely is not going to come true, but I think it would be really cool if it came true and they actually used it. But I was heard. I heard someone saying that there was a rumor going around that they're going to reveal the like the masked Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, as Bo Dallas, and it was supposedly Bo Dallas the whole time. And, oh my god! And you know, I heard. And the unmasked Bray is actually Bray. So it's. I would love that, but I know they're not going to do it. But I, I heard someone talking about rumors of that. Can they logically do that? <laughs> like, is Bo the same size? Same size as Bray? He's not as thick as as Bray, but well, I, I mean, mean, he's at five off. He could have got thick with three C's. Hey, you got you got I a mean, they, tried to, they tried to convince us that Jason Jordan was Kurt Angle's <laughs> son. I, they hey, I can see it. Uh, I can see it. <laughs> But really, just because of the initials, why couldn't he have been Jeff Jarrett's kid? <laughs> <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> um, that, uh, what is it, the episode of Family Guy? Where he was like, my black son. <laughs> my black son. My black son. <laughs> oh, I, I bet you Vince was watching that. He was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. It will get over. God damn, pal. I love it. Michael, get your back here. <laughs> uh, Raise a little bit taller, damn it. <sighs> um, the Fiend win this, wins this match, obviously, uh, and kills uh, Randy Orton. Uh, so, wait, wait. So, Bray is 6'3. Bo is six one. Two inches isn't that much, right? <laughs> Depends on who you're asking. <laughs> Wait, well, that's, hey, that's that's how I've stayed married this long. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just. Uh, but, hey, hey, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. <laughs> oh, I, I'm okay. What's the weight difference? <laughs> like, what's the weight difference? That's what I need. To know. I mean, I know the X division's about no limits, but you know. Um, I uh, I, I'm I'm going with the, the, the fiend shows two thirty four. Like it's a little bit of it. Wait, okay. different. So you cut out for a second. Give me the two numbers again. Two eighty five and two thirty four. Oh, that's, 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 that's one plate of ribs. He good. That's one plate of ribs. He can do that. 
do that. But I, I will say it would be I would pop if that would happen. And Vogue goes, Yowie, wowie. <laughs> <laughs> they should have they should have Bo show up just a little bit uh out of shape and he ended up being <laughs> They got. They gotta try to do it like the Kane and Undertaker storyline, <laughs> but when they <laughs> reveal his bow, he has to go, "Yowie, wowie!" Yeah, but like it was like they had Luke Gallows be Kane. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we have um, just made this match way better. I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going with the fiend. Anybody else wanna? Chime on in that has no Alexa Bliss because she always wins. Okay, Justin. Uh, well, you know, I heard another rumor that other than the Bo Dallas rumor, I heard on this other YouTube channel that saying that could be Brock Lesnar under the mask. I go, like, What Brock Lesnar? I go, like, That does I mean, that'd be interesting if it was Lesnar under it. What How I know, they- right. What in the <laughs> French fried titty fuck is going on? I, I don't know how that would be Lester, you know, but that that would be interesting. I can't be in, in cahoots with Justin, Bray Wyatt. What, what channel was that? Because never watch that again. But I mean, uh, that'd be interesting if that did happen. I would did you I'd call be, a hotline or something, and they just had a conversation. With you? I, I'm gonna DM that person. I'm gonna DM them on Twitter. I'm I'm gonna say, hey, if if, if that comes true, I'm gonna DM them. <laughs> I'm gonna DM him. It's gonna, be, it's, kind of, it's gonna be shameless underneath that mask. <laughs> Cause both the names start with an S. <laughs> you, know, you know who it's gonna be? It's it was Big Show all along. <laughs> no, it's gonna be Dolph Ziggler. He said, "I told you it should have been me. <laughs> it should have been me." Uh, <laughs> oh, Adam. Uh, but no, Bray, yeah. Bray's gonna win. I mean, or yeah. the fiend. Yeah, Bray. The fiendy, not the fiendy. Not the fiendy. Not, not, the, not the fire extinguishy. Man, now I'm really looking forward to this match. Let's see actually what happens. Adam. We made this better, but I will say this whoever, I don't know where you got that source that it could be Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm going, going to have to, to find that video again. I'm going to strangle them. Because that is the stupidest thing I've ever said. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my god, it's Hornswoggle! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one superstar that, 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 that looks nothing like? Brock Lesnar, it's got to be him. <laughs> El Torito makes his return. <laughs> Max Mini? All right. Oh. oh. <laughs> the Hall of Pain is coming back? What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. He fucking, he fucking sets Brady on fire. He unmasks him. It's Mark Henry. Because that's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> <laughs> reveals the peach. The peach toast. <laughs> <laughs> Again, WWE, hire us. We're better than fucking Brian Gewertz. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we got very large E versus not Nigerian Apollo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have just perfectly described two human beings on the WWE roster. <laughs> yes. Yeah. XXLE. Um, and non Nigerian <laughs> I would love to see Apollo win and have a good heel uh IC title run. <laughs> Instead I, of I, being Apollo lose. <laughs> really, Apollo really quick, really quick. Justin, you just shared that video. That is a channel that I was making fun of last week because it is <laughs> it, no, don't listen to anything on I, that I, channel. You know, you know, I you like know, the way he's I like the way he says w- yep. w- WWE. No, I like the way he says do. it. You know what we should do? We should uh, we should uh, respond to these type of things. <laughs> Video idea. Michael. Oh, we don't need Michael for the podcast? Sorry. Sorry, Michael. Go back. 
Sorry, Michael. I just like I just like his voice. Um, his his voice is funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then Michael, Michael goes back. Well, all right. Do, do, do. <laughs> well, it could happen. Brains about the same size, but they're nowhere near the same. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all well, fuck. <laughs> hey, I got an ideal. Uh, <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with a uh, non-Nigerian uh, Apollo because I think there's got to be one time where Biggie hits that spear through the ropes and it and it really kills him. And uh, Apollo just rolls him back in and pins him. I, I think, like, I think it's gotta happen. Like, it's just logic here. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, just then he's just medium e. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I'm looking forward to this is that Wale is gonna be performing Big E song, which is gonna be pretty cool during uh, during his entrance. Uh, but on this mean, match, I, I'll never understand it. They got Bad Bunny on the roster. <laughs> but this is going to be a pretty good match here. Um, I'm going to have to say Apollo wins here because, you know, actually make him. You know, if, if they if he loses here, he's he's not worth anything. Basically, like his he's, his character is dead to me. Like he's yeah. buried. His character is buried to me. I'm not buried, but like. I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not gonna care about him very much. Michael can't go back on him. Michael, <laughs> but no, give me a call with one here. <sighs> all right, uh, Adam. Look, Biggie, all the way. Very large. E. I mean, like, like, good, good. Yeah, very, very, very large. E. Um, <laughs> you know, I like the name Stewie. It's Stew, but with an E at the end. Um. <laughs> You just, as soon as you said that, put some respect on Big A's name. He's a he's a former Isle of Hawk. Why did you, why did you sound like you just, you just, why did you sound like you just took like three shots and then tried to say that? <laughs> but not only, not only that, he sounded like Dr. Evil. You need to put some respect on that name. <laughs> The only thing you're missing is the pinky of the mouth. I happen, I happen to like the very large E. <laughs> I, think, I think we should we should take the very large E and get a laser <laughs> laser laser beams on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a laser beam on the top of their heads. You're no, telling no. me. You're telling me I can't get very large E with laser beams attached to his head. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, fine. Whale, whale <laughs> All right, fine. Whale All right. He's like, All right, fine. We're going to make it a Nigerian drum match. What is that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> you bring out a drum and you bring out other drummers. It's like the movie Drumline. Do, do, do. That's how they make it. You got to have a Nigerian do, 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 do. And I think Casey don't just kill this phone. <laughs> so I, I figured out what it's going to be. I figured out what it's going to be. So they're going to take they're going to take drums, put them in each corner, and it's basically going to be like a strap match. You have to go around and hit all four drums. Hey, all four drums. Yes, yes. <laughs> Michael, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go out to every high school. And I don't want you to invite me to buy every drum out there. <laughs> Michael, get in here. Get in here. <laughs> Lance, I'm already in the fucking room. <laughs> so, so basically how the booking for this match went was, Michael, get in here. Do we have any laser beams? <laughs> no, sir, we don't. All right, well then get some drums. I thought we just had a breakthrough <laughs> in the booking meeting. I had the group liquidated, you little shit. <laughs> but yes, Biggie. Biggie, uh, all the way. Nothing against 
Apollo, <laughs> and I'm glad what they're trying to do with them. But I'm like, you can't, you can't stop, you can't stop Biggie's push at this point. All right. Um, anybody else haven't picked this match? I can't remember. Who, 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 who. All right, uh, Michael, do you have anything? Well, I think it's going to be the extra E in this match. <laughs> All right, uh, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. A match I'm excited. This is the for. match I'm looking. This is the match I'm looking forward to the most. With, I don't know with why. Logan Paul. You know what, guys? I don't understand that E looks like a normal size E to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Adam, you go first. <laughs> Well, well, I think is going to be Sammy because because <laughs> Logan Paul is going to get involved somehow because you know you know he he got into that, that little skirmish at the end of SmackDown, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, like, I do, I do, I do think, I do think Sammy, Sammy's going to win. Wait. Logan, I know Logan. They're gonna have him involved somehow. Like he's not like a special ref or anything. It's it just this is a straight up match, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I think you know, there's gonna be there's gonna be a ref bump. He's gonna be incapacitated for an ungodly amount of time. Logan Paul's gonna come out and act like he's gonna try to help <clears throat> try to help K- uh, KO. Hits the stunner, but then Logan Paul does some fucking jujitsu MMA shit. To knock him out, he puts he puts Sammy on top of Kevin. Referee comes to be one, two, three. Okay. What the hell was that? Um, it's, 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 it's his ghost. Oh. DJ Mama. <laughs> she can't hear you. She's on. I have all the headphones. <laughs> Mother, Where do you I'm... possibly have any sharks with laser beams attached <laughs> to their heads? I'll just I'll just yell louder. DJ Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up your volume, DJ. I swear for God. I swear for God. I swear for God. If you don't let me talk to your mama. Uh, Whoa. You should just, you should just go look at her and just go, Mom, if you move, you you, you better know if you move. <laughs> DJ, I don't um, know what you're talking about. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> See, there, there goes the ghost. There goes the ghost. The ghost. <laughs> the ghost. Um, just me, it, Yeah, so, you know, they should wrestle on top of this, like, on top of that, um, the big pirate ship that they're going to have for the stage. They need to wrestle on that. Like, they need to uh, get thrown off the stage. Like, I want to see, I want to see something cool happen in this match. It, it's going to be a what? good match, though. But, but here's the thing, though. Why does Sammy look like the weirdest extra in an 80s war movie? <laughs> it it kind of does. I was just gonna ask, I was just gonna ask why does Sammy look like the ginger Fidel Castro? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> hey, what do, do I have a top of dinner on my beard? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got Kevin Owens win this match here. Sammy Zane from Cuba. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Case? All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Real quick. I got it. I got it. Because I got it. He got got the wrong guy. Logan Alexander Paul. Motherfucker. You son of a. Logan. Son of a bitch. Logan, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Logan. He has weird powers. Every time he points at the camera moves. <laughs> Casey Kane Erickson. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, you kill me. <laughs> uh, for real. I thought you said he was going to be a good host. <laughs> Logan Alexander Paul, you better know if you move. If you move. You I'm better know. 
I'm you full up to know. I am full up to hear what your brother's bullshit. If you move. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the past, but in the recently. Not in the past, but in the recently. He has been trying to fight all these people that ain't fighters. And then when a fighter tries to challenge him, he backs out, baby. It, anyway, um, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, oh, my face. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm, is I'm, his I'm name really it. Alexander? It is. <laughs> Logan Alexander Paul. Lap. <laughs> and Jake Joseph Paul. Um... I don't know who's winning this match, but it's gonna be a good match. I'm going with uh, I'm going with Kevin because the Sammy ever win anything ever uh, besides the Intercontinental. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Uh, I don't know. When did, did they already did the little documentary thing? They said they were gonna. Do? I might have to go back and watch that. That was that was the angle on SmackDown. It was the oh, real okay. premiere, and it had Logan Paul. Then KO came out and effed it up. I really do hope this is an actual like network special of the documentary. Like I I want to see this. Right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to go with Sammy. I'm going to go with Sammy. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh, one, two. Oh, we man. We have to watch that match again, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, right, but... we, go. Well, <laughs> we got the old, we got the old beggar woman. <laughs> All right. Uh, Riddle versus Sheamus. beggar woman. What is this? What, what, what Riddle is this versus one? Seth Rollins. <laughs> intercontinental championship uh intercontinental u.s title the the which one the ugly u.s title we the, just the, US, the every US, single thing the u.s continental championship <laughs> the european championship so uh besides birds flying out of matt riddle <laughs> <flip-flop>, um <laughs> Sheamus is not winning this match at, at any point ever. It's not going to happen. Riddle wins, and he's going to bro and probably forget his lines on the way to the, uh, <laughs> the match. Well, but it got, damn, kind of goes with his getting bro. Those damn birds are going to get involved somehow. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, Casey, thoughts on the U.S. in a cotton mental of Florida title. Logan Paul, you all right. Uh, um, I mean, the old woman in this match isn't gonna win, so Riddle is gonna, uh, Justin. Um, yeah, Riddle's gonna retain his style here. Like, I, I just Sheamus doesn't need a title right now, and Matt Riddle, I mean, apparently, WWE's fine with him, you know, being probably being stoned out his mind. I mean. They're probably they're probably all right with the weed he I does. I don't think that's a part of his gimmick. Vince, you, you know, Vince, he, just, he just acts like it. I don't, I don't think that's a part of his gimmick. I don't think I don't Vince realizes it anymore. <laughs> he's he's out there and he's going. Vince, Vince is probably like, just, just make sure you run me some. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Michael, get a big cage of pigeons. I want them to flop out of Riddle's asshole. <laughs> Look that pigeon's loose. <laughs> Vince, where are we gonna put the pigeons? In his hole. God god damn it, I'm I'm no expert. Just put it somewhere. Glass the beautiful people. Wait, what? They're the beautiful people. That's the sound of the birds coming out. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know where we were, Adam. <laughs> I no, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Little Me. This, um, this, I do think, I do think this will be a a good party match. And it goes like, aside from the silliness of Riddle out of the ring, I do think he's very good in the ring. You know, because because he's legit. You know, I do. 
especially in, in NXT. Yeah, he, he, he has the a, best facial Yeah, you're right. But I just, I get, I, I, I think they just, they just need to let him not do promos. Just, I think we, we get it. You're, you're, you're out there. I, I don't understand the birds flying out of his, 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 his anus. Feet. No, it's coming out of his booty hole. His riddle booty hole. <laughs> but like, but what well, the, the thing is, like, what does it have to do with him flopping off his flip flops? That's what I don't understand. Unless they really just think that, like, the only thing that's missing is the zippity do da zippity day. It's like it, it's almost like a Disney oh, clip. Oh, my, what a wonderful seriously. day! Yeah, seriously, seriously. So, but, you know, no offense to Seth Rollins, but he's not winning this match. So, <laughs> <laughs> and no, no, this, the is vision, a, this is a, fella. this is a, this is <laughs> this is the beggar woman. Embrace the whole vision, bro. Times but a poor. We're watching this match again. Wow. I, no, I put that match because I didn't know you had a graphic for the other one because you didn't tell me before the show started. I know you didn't have a graphic for it. They didn't put a graphic. You just Googled it. Hey, I, I did Google it and I found it. It, it is Googleable. It is Googleable. <laughs> um, to the main event, possibly, of night two. Night dose. Of night, whatever Casey would say for. Too when we used to do that. Um. Anyway, do- well, dosey, dosey, night, dosey. night, night number two. <laughs> we got uh, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, and Edge in the triple threat match, or Ro- Romano Rones, Daniel Breon, and EJ. Um, you know. So, I mean, you were right with the with the the, the Daniel Breon, but you know the. And Daniel, hold Brianna, the Daniel Brianna, <laughs> Ramona Rienes, and Egajid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't hold a candle to, to Casey's favorite match, which is the main event of WrestleMania: Zach Sabre Jr. and Chada Ibushi. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for that match, it's not going to happen. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're watching the wrong company if you want to see that. <laughs> Someday it's going to happen, and I'm going to call it. <laughs> I told you fools. I said it was going to happen, and it did. <laughs> fuck you, um, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. <laughs> um, I'm going with the head of the table, Roman Reigns, even though I kind of hope he'll edge winch. Win- winch. <laughs> I, I hope no. I hope that heel edge wins. <laughs> oh, the doctor evil references. Yeah. Well, not only that, think... that was almost it was almost like a little hit of Sean Connery. Yeah. I, I think I if uh, I think I if heel edge wins, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Everybody knows where the booze is. <laughs> um, I kind of want to see Heel Edge win this, but at the same time, I don't want to see the reign of Roman win. No pun intended. Uh, well, this so, is how we have to speak for the rest of our episodes. Is Roman like this. Roman Reigns is, is bizarre because I don't think he's actually Roman. <laughs> and Daniel Bryan, I've heard his name is actually Brian Danielson. And I and, don't know uh, if he can make it rain. He's lying. <laughs> He's had a yes. he's had a good reign as yes. champion. I'll give him that. Yes, that is that is that is my favorite rap song. Make it rain, make it rain, rain. Uh, I'm going like, why well, I like the Grinch? You asshole, push me to the edge and make me want to jump. But uh, you, think- you're a mean one, Mister Edge. <laughs> 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 really <laughs> but you know what they say when they put when you push somebody to the edge of their reign, all you can say is, is Daniel yes. Bryan. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wait, let me let's. I gotta give him a round of applause on that. That was that could be the line of the show. Period. <laughs> oh, um, when you push someone to the edge of their reign. All they can say is Daniel Bryan. 
Yes. Yes. Nice goat. Nice goat. All they can say is, I'm the tag team champion. <laughs> Let's go to Justin. And I want my I want my belt shaken, not sir. <laughs> I am so lost right now. <laughs> <laughs> so so when uh, when they change the plates, is Daniel Bryan gonna say, I want mine shaken, not screwed? <laughs> Um, I like to get a peek of that Brie Bella. <laughs> you know, I I heard some rumors about this could become a four way match. Oh God! Please about no. about Jer Jericho being involved with this because there was reports about him coming back as and he's tired of being with AEW because he he wants to have like a more of a part time like kind of role. And he wants to go on tour. He wants to go on tour. Being, being the guy in AEW and getting made fun of all the time. Because he's the well, no, well, well, yeah, and again, let's let's keep it on it. Well, of course, it could be Jericho because he loves getting COVID. So why not add more people to this match? Well, <laughs> it, it's COVID on a pole now. He wants more time off, but he's in a company that he basically owns with the Young Bucks. He could just take whatever time off he wants. Why and he, he also that? he also wants to go on tour with Fozzie Moore. Also, he can do whatever he wants in AEW. Why <laughs> he literally he had a freaking concert during the pandemic. Um, he's not coming back. He's not. If he does, I'm, if he does, I'm, I'm going to be surprised. Well, I mean, he is going to be on the Broken School. He's, he is going to be on the podcast with Stone Cold. Justin, stop listening to that YouTube channel. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Hey, I got. I, I, I listened to that YouTube channel once. I, I got an ideal. Let's bring back Bastion Booger. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, wait, he's wait, gonna be on. Wait, the... wait a, I didn't say Doug Basham. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Um, I want the fellow that fell through the wall. <laughs> wait, a minute, you talking about the master of the shop? <laughs> the master of the shock. All right, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to sign that one-legged guy. Get the right one this time. Oh, that that, hey. that Z Gowan Z Z Hey, hey, Vince. Uh, I got this one little wrestler. Uh, can work. He's pretty good. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong one. How do you fuck up and get the wrong one? Sorry, Vince. Oh. I gotta say though, your arms are pretty big today, Vince. You want me to rub oil um, on you? No, but as regards to this match, I got Edge winning here. Okay. Edge is uh, gonna be your new champion. And I say to that, no, no, no. As much as it's it's probably it is probably gonna be and they and they bring the world title out of retirement. I mean, but I'm telling you, but here's the, I, I will say this because me and Justin were talking about that like a month ago. If, if, when, well, and this was even before uh, DB was put into the mix, I think if you had a baby face edge, Roman could be the ultimate prick here, pull out the, the big gold belt and say, here's where you, what you never lost. But guess what? It's now in my possession, you know, da 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 da, and work from there. But now that they've added uh, DB into the, into the mix, they they kind of made Edge heel, but not really. But he's he's just this was just his way of bringing out the true rated R superstar, you know, to, the to ultimate that, opportunist to 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 give him that edge in the match. Oh, my so personal funny. feelings. My personal feeling is I want I want Daniel Bryan to win this, and I think I brought up that scenario. After uh, uh, Chamber, or it was after one of our one of our episodes, is Edge is salivating, drooling on himself, ready to deliver the spear to Roman. Goes for Roman, senses on the guillotine, but at the midst of all this, Edge is trying to roll out of it, roll out of it, gets kind of rolls to the side. Daniel Bryan hits a yes kick right to the 
to the back of Roman's head. Edge is like, what the fuck just happened? Boom. Shining wizard to him. And then does the the back and forth with the 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 high knee into the into the corner. And then, you know, whatever it be, flying butt into the yes lock, whatever, and Brian wins, but taps out Edge. Roman stays protected. And that's the other thing. If Edge is to win, I don't think Roman is going to be the one taking the fall, which is another reason why I think they added Daniel Bryan into this mix. Because they want to protect yeah. Roman, which is fine. Which is fine. But if you're going to do this, don't do like a lot of matches are where there's two guys fighting for most of it after one guy gets incapacitated. Let, I'm not saying go blow for blow, you know, move for move per se, but have the proper psychology to this. Like you did with Ben Watt, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. Because you know, three still, ways can be three ways, three ways can be good. I I, I love multi man yes, matches yes. because with all the crazy shit that happens in the matches. But if you have like there's a whole bunch of guys just resting outside the ring, I'm like this is basically they're this they're well, then you, have, you have two matches within a match, and that's that's not that's not the purpose of a of a multi man match. Yeah, mm-hmm. but anyway. Like I said, like I, I think it's, I do think it's going to be Edge that comes out on top. But my personal pick is Daniel Bryan. But we shall see. Um, Casey, did you pick this matchup? Well, I also think that Edge is going to win. But my question is, if Edge doesn't win, will he be able to Adam Copeland with his loss? <laughs> Not if bad. he does win, Not bad. he does win, he's going to be a Pac Man of the last sex celebration. It best be it's on the roster. <laughs> I was and it's gonna be, and it's going to be, instead of Beth being it, it's going to be Lita again. And then Matt Hardy comes back and says, It should <laughs> 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 And then Edge will get. Before the <laughs> and then and then Rick Flair will come out. Come say, on, darling, you, know, you gotta be you gotta be with the real man. <laughs> and then Cena comes and then Cena comes out. And I mean, you know what? The one time I think he had finally seen a woman naked that wasn't Nikki at that point. It just goes, oh, <laughs> not bad, well, not I bad. Mean, if, if, if they do have, uh, if they do have the live sex celebration, you know, they might also have Big E come out. But uh, <laughs> Edge is going to be the one that's hard E. <laughs> but if, if Big E comes out, whatever, then we need to have that clip of, of the Simpsons. Just stop! He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> My God, man, you're going to kill him. <laughs> How many more puns can we make? Stop, he's already dead. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, as always, thank everybody for uh, tuning in. Any other final thoughts on any? If we if we've driven you if we've driven you away, I kind of apologize. But this this was the greatest podcast in the history of our great sport. <laughs> uh, speaking of. I just want to know if anyone ever actually watches our entire show all the way through. In case you need it more, you can always, as always. Where's Ankle? I, ankle. I don't have a logo for Ankle Podcast it's or hurting. Snapple Podcast. So, Damn, um, I sent you one. It's hurting. It's hurting. Uh, it's hurting. If you hate Facebook and want to watch on YouTube, you can. If you want to listen to us because you hate our faces, that's on you. But... <laughs> You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Anchor. Or if you just want to take our adorable faces with you, wherever you go, Spotify will let you put that thing in your car and go down the road. Apple Podcasts will let you put that thing in your car. Anchor will let you ankle. Anchor will let you put that thing in your car and listen to it, okay? But anyway. But if you want to, you can lay your phone. You can lay your your phone if you're watching us on Facebook. You can lay your phone on top of your head, and you can have you be sitting on our faces. And you know, 
What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Is it too late? Is it too late? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, after we end this episode and they have to wait for the next one, I hope that they can cope, Lind, with that. <laughs> You're going to be on that for a while. I love it. All right. And with that being said, <laughs> we don't need any more of, you love of Casey's me. jokes <laughs> right now. Anyway, uh, definitely hope you guys enjoy it as always. We'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate Justin, Casey, Adam, DJ, that's me, for coming by. We'll see you guys on the next show, which will probably be tomorrow with the NXT TakeOver. And, and deliver. We'll be sitting and delivering, but we'll be here. Um, review. <laughs> but you know what? I think we should do the whole the whole show standing up. Yes. Yes, actually. Or laying down. Lay and deliver. <laughs> Roll and deliver. Anyway, um, <laughs> sleep and deliver. Backflip and deliver. We'll see you guys on the next one. Spanish fly and deliver. deliver. Share the video. Share it. Share it. Share the podcast. Share, share, share the video. video. Yes. Yeah. Share the video. Bye. Share the share the video. Michael, get in here. <laughs>